Alrighty, it's time to beat the Shrine Guardian on Master Difficulty in Keener Bridge of Spirits. I'll do a Rot Hammer to open the fight and then try to take out that crystal on his head. Perfect. Get a couple of arrow shots on him. Alright, he's crouching down so he's going to jump. Dodge the jump at the last moment and then I'll run around to the back of the arena to pick up these courage points which gives me the energy for a rock arrow attack I'm pretty much going to focus on rock arrow attacks with my courage energy rather than rock hammer attacks rock hammer attacks can leave you vulnerable to the little dudes either hitting you or throwing a rock at you in which case you'll take damage whereas rock arrow attacks can not only take out the minions as well as hurt the boss you can keep moving while you use it and so long as I'm still moving the whole time I'm attacking, I never have to worry about being hit by the rocks that the minions throw. I really want to stay away from the boss, but when the minions are behind him, you can get close and usually it'll trigger him to do a swipe, which you can parry, and it will actually parry all of the enemies backwards, allowing a parry counter. So that's pretty cool, but it's not really worth taking the risk for that. Alright, he's doing his ground attack. It's time to put Rot onto his back and then Shield Pulse to blow it up. And this is an opportunity to jump in the air and shoot that crystal off his shoulder, which is often hard to hit. Yes, and if I'm quick enough, maybe shoot the one off his leg too. Perfect. You don't really want to do this fight without taking out those crystals, because taking out the crystals does big damage and shortens the duration of the fight a lot. Not only that, they also drop a ton of courage energy, which gives you extra rot powers to do even more damage. Right, I'm in a good position right now because the minions are all grouped up on one side of the boss, so I should be able to get off a rot hammer. And maybe I might be able to get a second rot hammer off if I put them behind him again. And there goes a rock. One of the minions threw a rock there. That's why I don't like to do rot hammer. Had that rock been aimed in my direction, I would have taken damage there. So rot hammers really aren't worth the risk in this fight. Best off using rot arrows as much as possible. And pretty much I'm ignoring the minions this whole fight. Well, with the exception of trying to avoid them, but I'm not using them to build up courage points or anything like that. I'll get all that off hitting the boss. You know, I never take my own advice. I reckon I can get off a rot hammer here. Uh, and that's another reason why I don't recommend using Rot Hammer in boss fights with lots of minions because it can track onto a minion and completely waste your courage energy. Honestly, I should just listen to myself and not use Rot Hammer and stick with Rot Arrows in this fight. Alright, here comes the jumping attack, dodge. Pretty easy to avoid that. He's almost dead. It'll just take a couple more arrow shots. Getting a bit close to him though. I think I'll parry. Yep. I could have dodged there, but I just felt more comfortable to parry. Get off a few parry counters as well. And that ended him in a nice way. And I'll skip the cutscene. All the cutscenes are on my expert videos, so if you want to see cutscenes, you can go and watch those. But that's the Shrine Guardian beaten on Master Level Difficulty. I'm Fuzzy Barbarian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.